Well, it's official. It's winter time. There's ice on the windshield. Frig! Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Seven o'clock in the morning. I'm off to work for the day. Don't really have much to tell you today, but I just wanted to come on here real quick and tell you something. I've decided I'm not gonna pull the engine on the van until spring. And the only reason why is because I don't have the facilities to put it in where it's warm. And I don't have all the parts I'm gonna need to put it in the van. So I'm still doing it. It's just I might wait until spring when it's warmer to start doing the swap over. And over the winter, I'll collect the parts I need to finish the job right. I was gonna pull the motor out, do this, that, the other thing, and I thought to myself, well, I have two motors laying there and can't do nothing with them and stuff like that until spring anyways. So we're gonna tinker and hopefully come up with another little project while we're waiting for winter to come over. What do you think of that? Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about that. I think it's a good idea. I just can't keep blowing money on engine parts. I gotta slowly buy them as I save the money. They ain't going in debt for freaking engine parts, I'll tell you that right now, Cap. And everything's a thousand dollars or more that I need now. So I did one big purchase, it should see you coming up, and that's it for another, I don't know, four or five weeks before I can make another purchase because I can only put so much away per paycheck. If you know what I'm saying. And I put all the contributions I make through YouTube away too. I actually made 185 bucks this month on YouTube, eh? Wow, check that out. Even though you're not one of the popular YouTubers, you still make some cash. And once you get that cash rolling in, you, it's, hard, it's hard just to say, Fuck it, I don't want the cash. Because it's cash, it's extra cash. Doesn't matter if it's 50 bucks. And I enjoy doing it. So, what the hell's really going on here, bus? Here, let's just stop in the middle of the road with no lights on or nothing and just let people stop behind you. And hopefully, oh yeah, feel that voice? Just double bus past. That's how I roll. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and tell you that, and let you let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button. But it's windy out, as you can hear. A lot of wind noise today, and uh, it's kind of cold actually. It's just right around freezing because there was ice in the wind. So I'm having mixed feelings out there about the old Movember, Movember stash. Some people don't like it. Some people don't understand why I dyed it. It's Movember. It's supposed to be fucked up. So if you don't like it, go bang a nut or two. Why wouldn't you? That's, you might as well, because you're no good for anything else. Holy, holy, listen to the window there. And people say never, what's really going on with that fucking door? Holy. All I can say is rain garden. So I know people say never to hate on haters. Change my mind. Fuck you, eh? So did anybody check out uh, Whistling Diesel's video last night of taking his truck out across the uh, Gulf? That was pretty good. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. Million views in less than 10 hours, boys. Girls, peoples. That's crazy. But he's got a pretty wicked truck. He does have a wicked truck. A lot of people hate him, too. There's a lot of haters on his channel because he wrecks good shit. But hey, it's his money. He can do what the f*** he wants. If you don't like it, another one of them things. Go away! Hopefully you enjoy yourself and you're having fun doing absolutely f*** all. Keep yourself occupied. These little channels that hit on other channels because they're jealous or something don't realize that they're doing you good. But anyways, how many people, how many fan, how many people that watch me are fans of Cletus McFarlane too? I'm just curious. Leave your comments down below. Did anybody pay for that pay-per-view for $9.95? I'm just curious because he must have made a killing on that. If, I couldn't even imagine the amount of money that came in. We had all the famous YouTubers on there racing cars. I didn't pay for the pay-per-view, I apologize. The Cletus McFarlane fan, but he gets enough hand-me-downs. He doesn't need my 14 bucks. So just so you know too, if uh, if you are a YouTuber and you ask for subscribers and you push your merch, stuff like that, don't forget to check out the merch by the way. If you push your merch and stuff like that, then you're doing it right, okay? Anybody who says you're begging for subscribers or begging for views or whatever, it's bullshit. All the big YouTubers do it. It's all they do all the way through their friggin' video is push their merch, tell people to subscribe. So people that get butthurt about that kind of stuff, 
get over it but that's what YouTube's all about it's growing your brand and pushing your merch and pushing your subscriber count and place 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 that's part of it it's called sales tactic it's called trying to grow it's trying to support your family it's trying to make extra money you know when I'm done this video I'll probably edit out half the shit I just said it's not gonna be a very long video bouncing all over the place again but he took a little ride with the old man there on the weekend to get the old guard down in the van, but I never did finish off that video, so take a look at the beginning of the video and say hi to the old man while you're there. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Bill. Well, we're just in the truck. Me and my dad, we're going to go... Crop touring. We're going to do some crop touring. Oh, there's a guy plowing out there. There's a good one. I know you guys love the tractor videos. I'm being sarcastic because I know you don't. I'm sweating my ass off. Dad's hot because, you know, the Chevy Silverado makes some heat. It does. But we're going for an old guard, first of all, into Blue Point. So we were halfway there. Dad got me a coffee. Thanks for the coffee, by the way. No problem. Decent. I had to go home first because I had to take a shit. I don't. Frank. It never fails. The big D. <laughs> so we'll get home here. We'll get that going. Then we'll get rolling again. We had a couple good laughs we did. Figured I'd take the old man out for a little rip ski. He hasn't been out in a while, so went out for a little rip to see what we could find. Eh? I did find another farming video, which you've seen already. I know not a lot of you don't like that shit, but hey, it is what it is. It's all over with now. It's all, all cards off the field, as you can see as I'm driving. So, no more farming videos for a bit. You can relax. Last night's video, I mentioned I got one more, but that was one more than one before, because that video was done before that video. That's why I said I have one more. I enjoy doing it because it gives me practice with the old joysticks on the dronage. I'm starting to get a hang of how pretty good I am. If you take a minute and watch the video, you can see that. But I know, it's boring. But it's not, to me, it's relaxing to me. It's called satisfying. If you ever want to go to sleep, throw one of my tractor videos on, or farm videos on. And it'll put you to sleep like a baby. Pretty, pretty well. Ah, oh, it must have snowed. I'm sorry, there's some snow on the roof. So I brought the trailer home last night. Not fixed. I don't know if I told you I dropped the trailer off to have a look at the slide, but I did. They could warranty it. So I'm going to call Forest River myself and give him a peace of mind. Because that was doing that when it was under warranty. So as far as I'm concerned, it should be warranty. But I ain't spending 500 or something dollars on the trailer right now because Christmas is too close. We brought her home, put the van in the backyard. I'm going to put it in the garage in the back because I don't want it sitting outside all winter. That's my baby. Baby don't want to be outside, you know? So we'll slap that in the back garage and I'll have decent up with me and the engine up front. We're going to be doing that soon. So that will be done. And we'll be able to figure that one out. i got to bring that other little goofy thing up front, that little trike I built. Fix the pull cord on that so you can't get it running again. I neglected that too, so we're gonna get that thing fixed. If anybody's wondering, I stepped back on the RCs a little bit. I apologize if you're a subscriber. I'm probably lo I'm losing subscribers because I'm not doing, I'm not losing subscribers. I'm gaining, but I'm losing. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. So basically people are leaving, but people are coming. So the coming are overtaking the leaving. That's why I'm slowly going up. But I was plus 50 subscribers in the last three days and I was minus I think it was 43 so those 43 are probably people that don't like the videos but RC's RC's I stepped back I sold the X Max I don't know if you know that or not but I sold the X Max I apologize still have the UDR I still have the the crawlers and stuff like that but the X Max just wasn't into it you know all you do when you get that thing is go bash anyway so it went away and that's how I bought the engine that went towards the engine so I apologize I sold the X Max Friggin' right I did. But I still got more. I, mean, I still might get them out later, but not right now. There's no no signs of getting them out for a while here. So if you're on my channel for RCs, I apologize. Hopefully you can still stick around and check out what else I do. Because I got other priorities right now. I'm trying to save some cash. And every time you take an RC out, you gotta fix it. You know how it works. Yeah, especially the way I drive. I just dick them right over. But anyways, this is just a short little bitching about people that are down on themselves and have no lives and people that are trying to do something with their life and trying to make ends meet. So there you go. It's a little bit of both. Nobody worry. I'm not butt hurt. I don't give a crap. I'm just stating my opinion. There's a difference between being butt hurt and stating my opinion. I think it's funny, but I think it's pathetic all at the same time. And you can give me your thumbs down like you normally do. That's cool with me. Hopefully one day you'll realize what's really going on. Hey. Eh? Very well. But love y'all, even you. And until next time, you know what to do for now.